Hi guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. You guys are new here, hit the subscribe button, also turn on post notifications. As you guys can see, I have the 2016 Porsche Cayenne GTS. This is in this rhodium silver metallic uh, color right here. You have these uh, halogen headlights in this bugged out looking shape right here. You have an LED turning signal. You also have an LED fog light. You have your Porsche badge up here in the front. Sorry guys, there's gonna be airplanes coming in and out, so if you guys can't really hear me that much, because we're right here by the airport. So overall, the front of the, the, the GTS, it looks very, very aggressive. It has that, that very, very stance. But these headlights, they kind of throw me off because they remind me of like a, like a bug. But we're going to take a look at the side profile. Hey guys, so we're here on the side profile. As you guys can see, you have these 21-inch rims wrapped in a 295 series tire. You have a turning indicator right here on the side. If you guys worry about that wheelbase is at 114. And overall length is 191 inches for the wheelbase. All right, guys, so we're at the rear of the Porsche Cayenne GTS. As you guys can see, it has a rear spoiler. You have your badging right here. You also have a full LED uh, headlight. I mean, yeah, reverse light, your back, your brake lights are full LED, and also your turn signal is full LED. So you have twin dual exhaust. You guys worry about your uh, cargo capacity. And it is a power lift gate. So you have 23 cubic feet of space with your seats up, and with the seats down, you're looking at about a good 60 cubic feet of space. And you also have this fancy looking uh, spare tire back here. So we're gonna take a look at the interior. All right, guys, so we have the Porsche GTS. As you guys can see with the upper part of the window, it's a hard touch plastic. You have these nice, metal uh, chrome accented door handles. You have a metal uh, chrome accented around your uh, air vent. Right here, this is how you guys turn the, the vehicle on and off. This stays in it, you guys can't take that out. It's normally not on the right side, it's on your left side to, to start the vehicle up. So right here you have some nice suede Alcantara material. All windows express up, express down for all four. You have your uh, powerful numeric controls right here. You guys can press that and it does unfold and fold the mirrors in. So looking up at your uh, displays up here, if you guys you guys can put it into the sport mode you guys can make it here like you guys can hear like burbles and pops a little bit here and there it does rev up to like the 4000 uh, rpm mark which is not bad it does have paddles on the wheel you guys can cycle through uh, your controls right here uh, but some, for some reason it doesn't oh you have to use this like little uh little toggle switch right here it does have your map display your uh, navigation or your jukebox or your audio system overall the porsche uh the layout here looks pretty old to me in my, in my honest opinion i love this the porch uh the porsche badging in the center nice uh leather wrapped steering wheel i think with these nice bolsters on the side you have your lights controls down here you have electronic parking brake so overall the interior up here feels stitched with this nice contrast and stitching over here it's, it's hard and here it has 10 speakers open your glove box it's, it's on the small side it's damped and it's not lined with it's lined with felt so i'm making our way to the center console right here the center stack you have your climate controls right here you have your to adjust your temperature your, your fan speed you have your uh your hazard buttons right here you have a, a hill assist some uh black piano plastic right here this is for like I get, this is not a charging pad this is like for a cigarette this is probably like they, whoever had this car is probably like a, for a cigarette uh package that they have you have a nice metal trim around your shifter right here you guys put it into reverse the backup camera it's it's okay it does have trajectory no distance marker over here you have your off-road capabilities right here you guys can push it like that you guys can put it in it turns it off you turn the car back on but you have your sport mode right here you have your sport plus so that does mess with the, the muffler and you know gives it that uh the verbal sounds and pops you have uh your auto on and stop for some reason i never knew that back then in 2016 they actually had that feature for like different kind of cars but you know something different every day you have comfort mode yes no you have, you have these uh, nice handles right here you have your seat uh controls right here and it does come with a two-person memory seat over here you guys can uh, press that you guys can set it the way you want it you have your window uh your lock controls right here to lock the thing so you have your nice padded suede alcantara uh, armrest to open it it's more nice weight guitar materials in there. You have a USB port and auxiliary with a 12 volt in there. It's kind of on the small side, but these seats they feel real nice. You have your GTS badge embroidered into the seat. The seats they feel nice and plush and comfortable. Uh, you have a, a thigh supporter. Overall, the seats feel amazing. The front interior up here looks very, very good. You also have a, it does come with a panel sunroof, and you have your controls up here to uh, close it or open how you guys want. And I did mention that it does have uh, paddles on the wheel. If I didn't, I'll just bring it up now. The paddles, they do work uh, good. We're gonna go on a test drive after this. 
Then you have your cruise control stock down here on your left side of the steering wheel. So overall, we're gonna take a look at, oh, before I forget, you're gonna get the infotainment uh, system right here. It's kind of on the small side. I'm gonna say this is probably like a three to four inch screen, probably five the most, a CD player. I didn't know a car manufacturer still do that. I guess it's just a uh, recommendation. Let me go to the map and see. The map, it freezes up here and there. It's kind of on the sluggish side. It does move real slow, but overall, we're gonna take a look at the uh, back seats. Getting into the rear of the Porsche GTS. The same material that's in the front seat, it does come to the second row. Oh, that hard touch plastic at the top. Nice accented chrome handle. You have more of that sweat Alcantara material. You have two dual matte pockets. You do have a uh, rear uh, AC vents back here. There's no heated seats. There's no uh, cool seats. There's no. You do have a 12 volt back here, but there's no USB ports. So, and you also, like I said, you guys have this nice uh, panel sunroof to let more light into this uh, dark interior. You have two cup holders. So we're gonna take a look at the engine. All right, guys. So we're here with the powertrain specs. This is a 3.6. GT, as you guys know, this makes 440 horsepower, 443 foot pounds of torque. It has 16 in the city, 23 on the highway. As this one sits, it weighs in 4,642 pounds. So, overall, if you guys are looking to purchase this vehicle, you guys feel free to look at the, the description box below. You guys can go to DarrellLincoln.com. It's going to inventory. It's a 2016 Porsche Cayenne GTS. You know, the, you know, give them all the information that you guys seen the video. Overall, so this is an overall review for the 2016 Porsche Cayenne GTS. Thank you guys for watching.